New tonight in the first in-depth comments, the Louisville Police Union president says the new chief for Louisville didn't do herself any favors with the rank and file after her first news conference facing the public yesterday. As the night team's Jesse Cohen learned, the comments by Erica Shields upset officers looking for a new leader. Erica Shields introduced herself to Louisville Wednesday as LMPD's new chief, but what started as cautious optimism for the FOP quickly changed. What you say is important, how you say it is important, and how it's received is very important. And I just think that was done poorly yesterday. President Ryan Nichols says she made claims throughout the press conference, including mischaracterizing facts in the Breonna Taylor case. You're going to police fairly and equitably. Your practices have to be consistent and your standards have to be consistent regardless of the neighborhood. Basically an allegation that we don't police the same across our county or search warrants don't happen in white neighborhoods. Prior to her introduction, they were hopeful she would bring some positive change to the department and the community. Nichols says as a former cop on the streets, he had heard she really listens to her officers. That's the same message we heard from the president of the International Brotherhood of Police Officers in Atlanta, where she left in June after 25 years and three and a half years as chief. The fact that as a union rep that you know, we're willing to talk good about the chief should say something. Vince Champion said she had a reputation of working with the community and officers. Give her that chance. She's changed it here. She's changed lives here, both for law enforcement and the community. Just give it a chance. So after this first impression, Nichols says it's going to take some time to build trust with his members. They're going to be hard pressed to to take what she says and her new message and, and want to get behind that. For the night team, I'm Jesse Cohen. And WHS 11 News obtained a message that Shields sent out yesterday where she says officers pointed out to her that she may have characterized a fact in the Breonna Taylor case when speaking yesterday when she said Taylor was shot and killed while she was sleeping. She says in part, I understand that words matter, facts matter, and incredibly sensitive nature of this incident. She adds that she's committed to getting it right as she moves forward.